Why don't you give it a try? I'd like to get your opinion. Let's let's no, just. I'm good. I don't want to break the new Tahoe. No, you Here, won't. No, I'm good. I really, I'm just keep just keep cranking up that. I'm good. There's like three of these in the world. <laughs> I have no interest in driving this off a cliff. I'll let you do the driving. Hey guys, meet the brand new Chevy Tahoe. And best of all, it's not just any Tahoe, it's the brand new Z71. That means it's the off-road worthy one. And we are here in Colorado with Tommy, who's behind the camera. Hey guys. And we're gonna take it up a pretty rough trail to see just how good it is when the dirt turns to rocks. And that is coming up right now. The Z71 package means this Tahoe is more capable than a standard model. Up front you've got a better approach angle with a little cutout for the front tires, that's a nice feature. You've got a metal skid plate with these red recovery hooks and you know they work because they are painted red. And then on the inside there's a low range transfer case and these 20 inch off-road tires. So we're going to see what this means in terms of real world capability on the trail. Yeah, so we're going up Deer Creek road it's open from november 23rd until may 20th but realistically it's only open for maybe three months in the summer because there's too much snow we're starting down here just past montezuma colorado and we're going way up there where the snow is or at least as far as we can get before we hit snow and keep in mind we're in july and we still have snow here so maybe june july august that's about the only time you can come up here if you're thinking about doing some off-roading in colorado Hey Tommy, it's like Christmas and summer. We just got our bespoke post box of goodies. That's right, and Bespoke Post is a really cool subscription service that introduces you to new hobbies and new items on a monthly basis. So it could be a better way to shave or perhaps a really cool camping knife. There's a lot of cool potential goodies that'll come in these Bespoke Post boxes. So let's see what we got today. All right, let's check out this multi-tool, Tommy, because I love multi-tools. It's Check it out, 18 tools in one. And guys, just click on the link below and use the code TFL20 to get a 20% discount on your first box. Perhaps the most noticeable change in the new Tahoe is right here. It's the new push button transmission. Uh, actually, it's a pull tab transmission. I gotta tell you, I'm not a huge fan of push button transmissions. I kind of like the column shifter, but it does free up space over here. So now, for instance, You've got this big slot for wireless charging. If you're a fan of the Silverado, this will look very familiar. Um, the screen now is much bigger. And check this out, guys. I'm not sure what this is about, but there's a little tiny cubby hole right there uh, that you can use to, well, you know what's happening now. Hide your hand sanitizer. You know, Tommy, these Goodyear Wrangler trail runners are relatively aggressive. If you look at the pattern, you can tell that they're not gonna puncture if the rocks get pointy. But really what makes this much more off-road worthy is on the inside. Why don't you show them? Here in the Tahoe, I have a little dial which allows me to adjust the drive modes inside the vehicle. But I also have this little switch here, which allows me to adjust this vehicle's party trick, the optional air suspension. It gives me four height adjustments with up to four inches of suspension travel. And what I do is I push the little dial, and then you can see up here on the info screen, I can go from an axis height to a normal height, and then even two off-road heights as well. That is some pretty cool technology which allows this vehicle to go places a standard Tahoe won't go. You said this was going to be a hard trail, Dad. There's a Prius over there. Damn! Look at that. There is a Prius. Uh, you know what? I think that's got to be the uh, TRD Pro Prius. You know, the, the new off-road version. It'll get harder. Just wait. This is just a dirt road leading up to the trail. If you guys are fans of GM, you'll know that GM offers a lot of different engine choices. Under the hood here is the 5.3 liter V8, puts out 355 horsepower. You can get it with the uh, 6.2 liter, but for some reason in the Z71 package, you can't get the brand new straight six diesel. But off-roading is really more about crawling than about pure power. So this 5.3 will do just fine. You 
the other great thing about the Tahoe, specifically the fact that the Z71 package is kind of the off-road one you want, and that's because there are these. We have just a boatload of cameras. So of course you've got the bird's eye view, uh, but check this out. I've got one that faces both backwards and forward. I have cameras looking down, and I have cameras looking down in the back. I also have cameras on the side, the left side, right side. Uh, and of course, if I was towing or trailering, I would have cameras uh, that show me what my hitch is doing or not. Uh, but yeah, this is a really cool setup. So tell me what GM giveth, GM also taketh away because check this out, when I exceed a certain speed, the camera counts down you can see it cutting down right there. Uh, and when it gets to zero, you know what's gonna happen? That. Well, let's see how fast you can go. I think it's probably 10 miles an hour. Okay, so that's like, we're in low range. I think that's five miles an hour. Yeah. And they still let you access them. That's not 10 yet. I'm gonna hit 10. Let me see if it's 10. There it goes, 10 miles per hour, about. It turns off your cameras. <laughs> Tommy, I don't think this uh, new tower has a locker. We looked through the press materials and we couldn't find anywhere where it said that it has a locker, but there's certainly one way to find out. I'm at a really steep angle with a big rock in front of me. I'm just gonna try to drive up toward this rock and let's see if uh, both of the rear wheels lock up or if one spins and one doesn't. That's probably the easiest way to find out, right? If it's got a locker. This had the G80 locker, yep. it's an automatic locker, so when one wheel spins, it would automatically force the other one to engage, yep. but that didn't happen. So it's got uh, two high, four high, four low, and auto, but it really doesn't have any lockers in the front or in the rear, so basically it splits power 50-50 front and back, but then what happens when you get into a little situation like this? Well, it gets stuck because it's basically got an open diff in the front and the back, and it will grab the brakes to try to allocate power to the wheel with traction, but it didn't quite have the means to do that on this little test. It's a big old beast. For 2021, GM really refreshed the look of the Tahoe. There's a lot of Silverado, especially the Trail Boss in the front. I really like what they've done. They made it much more aggressive. And follow me, you can tell it's a Z71 with this prominent bold badge. If you recall, the old one was kind of a small little badge. Now we've got a big old badge. And perhaps the most useful thing for you guys as families is that the Tahoe is now bigger. And that extra space you'll find back here. Behind the third row, now there is plenty of room for groceries and actually probably plenty of room for like maybe three of those roller bags. GMLs also fitted the new Tahoe with power third row and a power second row. Check this out. I'm gonna flip those two seats down as well. So there are some big changes for 2021 to the vehicle construction. It's still body on frame, but now the Tahoe is riding on independent rear suspension. So it's got independent suspension on all four corners versus the old one that had a solid rear axle. And what do you think of the ride quality, Dad? I like it, Tommy. Uh, I know, you know, we're not in its complete highest height, uh, but I think it's okay. And I think part of that might be because it's got such a long wheelbase, right? The longer the wheelbase, the better the ride quality but I think you don't think so. Well, here's the deal with air suspension. Yep. The higher you go on a vehicle, the less down travel you have and the firmer the suspension gets. Yes. In its standard ride height, this air suspension rides like a dream. It really is smooth, on-road, it's super compliant, but when you start jacking it up into off-road one, you start losing some of that down travel and it gets a lot firmer. And then when you jack it up into off-road two, it becomes very firm, very uncomfortable. And that is primarily for getting you over like really tricky obstacles. The other thing too is with the independent suspension, you do lose some articulation that you would have with the solid rear axle, right? So that is a, a consideration. If 
you look in the front, the, the silver section you see clearly from the road, that's, that's plastic. plastic yeah, I know. Which, which I was shocked by, but when you start crawling underneath, that's when you'll find the actual metal skid plates. So it does have real protection under there, it also has a fuel tank skid. So I, I do feel comfortable running it into some of these smaller rocks. In about two minutes we're going to pop out onto a shelf road, right? Where if you get it wrong, we're going to go rolling into the valley below. Tommy, uh, this is a big truck to be taken on a cliff like that. I mean, if you look below us, right? It's probably a thousand foot drop. If I put a wheel wrong, we are rolling this thing into Deer Creek in the valley below. Matt, you've been out here exploring. Where can we go from here? Where can we go from here? What's going on? Uh, from here right now, you can go up and around through uh, St. John's. Yeah. Um, that'll drop you back down into uh, Montezuma. Yep. Um, Radical Hill still closed. Yep. And then if you're do up and then to the left to the middle fork of the Swan. Still closed. Um, still closed. Yeah. Snow? Snow. 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 Yeah. More snow. So much snow. I mean, you can see it all back there. I mean, mm -hmm. it's all here. <laughs> exactly. But hey, we're up and out. Yeah, exactly. How are the ATVs doing? Fantastic. Yeah? Well, thanks a lot. Really appreciate yeah, it. Definitely. Thanks Take up. care, guys. Take care. Have fun. Tommy. I think our friends on the ATVs are right. This is about as far as we're gonna get. We got snow that way, we got snow that way, and we've got a hell of a view that way. And my watch says we're at 12,034 feet, which is about as high as we're gonna get today because, well, we ran out of road, we ran out of drone, and uh, the Tahoe didn't put a foot wrong. I was impressed. What about you? Yeah, I was impressed too. You know, for a large family hauling SUV, it can take you to some pretty cool places. Yeah, so if you guys, come out to Colorado, this trail, Deer Creek, is now officially 2021 Tahoe Z71 rated. See you guys next time. Remember, check out tfltruck.com for Andre with the very first Ike Gauntlet towing review of the new Suburban. Ciao.